One question I often get after uploading one of my amplifier test and review videos is about my signal I use when showing the distortion performance. You know, it has a 1% pilot signal built into it. And the reason for doing that is just for a visual indication, something that would work well in the videos. You know, if you put a 1% reference point, you can see the distortion nodes relative to that. And you know you can see if the amplifier has a lot of distortion or low distortion. And in this little drawing I made, I have the fundamental, and I use one kilohertz. And I put the node at a non-harmonically related point. So let me explain. If you have a pure mathematically perfect sine wave, it's only going to have energy at its frequency. Now if there's some nonlinearity with the amplifying device that causes distortion of that signal, it's going to have energy content at multiples of the original fundamental frequency. And depending on the nature of the distortion, it could have harmonics at different frequencies of different amplitudes. So you, you might see a second harmonic, you might see a fourth harmonic, maybe no third, or like I say, it depends on the nature of the distortion. And again, that's the distortion's only going to be at multiples of the original frequency. So I created a signal that's non-harmonically related. The reason for doing that is so that it does not cover up any of the harmonics. So for example, if I made this signal at the fourth harmonic, I wouldn't be able to see what the amplifier is doing there because I covered that. So putting it at a non-harmonically related frequency to the fundamental allows me to see all the harmonics. So that's pretty much it there. Now I'm going to go on and show you how to create your own signal using a software called Audacity. And if you don't want to do that, I have the signals uploaded on Google Drive where you can you know, go and download them. I have one signal with no distortion at all added, and I have various pilot signal versions, one at 1%, there's one at a half a percent, and you know, so on and so forth. So if you want to download those and use them, you're certainly welcome to do that. Okay, so I'll move on with the Audacity portion of this video. Okay, this is Audacity. And I think I said before that it's a free downloadable sound editing software. It's very handy. I use it for uh, digitizing my vinyl and cassettes and things like that among other things. I guess I'm just going to have to point the camera at the screen here and hope for the best. I had VLC player that allows you to record your screen. It makes a lovely video, but when I edit everything together in Movie Maker, for some reason the video goes real blurry. I mean real blurry. You can't see anything. So I monkeyed around with it. I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't feel like, or, nor have the patience with fighting these computers. So I'm just going to uh, point the camera at the screen. Okay, anyway, this is not a tutorial on Audacity. I'm just going to show you how to make the files. So first you hit the generate menu and we'll select tone and you want sine wave and we'll set this to 1000 Hertz and we will set this to 0.99 now the highest level you can set it says here 0 to 1 as far as the amplitude so I can't use 1 because when I make 
the other pilot signal. Periodically the two signals are going to peak at the same time and that's going to exceed one and it's going to digitally clip and it'll put distortion in the file you didn't want. So, so this is the way it has to be done. We have to put 0.99 in and uh, the duration will just have 20 seconds. Okay, so now we have our one kilohertz signal. And I'll click in this gray area down here to unhighlight this tone we just made and we'll make another tone. So go back to generate tone and now I'm going to make the 4500 tone, 4500 hertz tone. And this has to be one one hundredth of the first tone. The first tone was 0.99, so this has to be 0 0.0099. And same time, and there you go. We have the fundamental and the pilot signal. How do we mix these together? Well, I just save the file, and uh, you have to export it export audio and I'll just overwrite this file I made previously with the other video that didn't work out and yeah we're gonna overwrite it and it's saying it's gonna mix down to a single file okay I'm not gonna put anything here so now it's done it is saved and we can get rid of these and I will open the file I just created. I'm kind of at an angle here. It's hard to see the screen. Okay, so now we have our file. Oh, I should mention when you save it, do not use a compressed, a lossy compressed format like MP3. Make sure it's non-lossy like a, a PCM Wave or a FLAC or something like that. Very important. Okay, so now we have the file up. Let's do the analyze. And you don't have to do this part. I'm just showing you know, the uh, file in the spectrum analyzer here. So we'll hit plot spectrum. And let me stretch the screen out a bit. Make sure it shows up on the monitor. I guess not, so I'm going to have to bring it up. Too bad they, uh, that screen capture stuff didn't work. I mean, it worked, but Movie Maker didn't like it, I guess. Okay, so now we have the fundamental signal and the pilot signal. Now, the pilot signal looks a lot taller than it does on the scope. That's because this is um, a logarithmic. This is in decibels. This is a logarithmic scale. Every 20 dB is a order of magnitude change. And zero is the highest level possible. And it goes into negative dB notation from there. So if you had a 20 dB signal, it would be it would be one tenth or ten percent of the amplitude of the fundamental. And at 40 dB, it's 1 100th, or 0 0.01. And if we went down to 60 dB, it would be 1 1,000th, or, you know, 0.01%. So what I'm doing now is moving the cursor over the fundamental and looking at the value of it. I have to get it. It's hard to get it aligned. I'm going to have to stretch this out. It's just not going to show it. It doesn't give me... You know, it's too coarse. It doesn't give me enough granularity to uh, move the cursor exactly. See, now I can move it right over it. And it's 0 dB. So, that's our fundamental. At 0 dB. Now if I go over to the pilot signal and get that on there, 
it's right at 40 dB down. So that's exactly what we want. 40 dB down is a couple orders of magnitude less, or 1 one hundredth. So this file is perfect. That's just what we want. So that's how I made the file, or how you could make the file in Audacity. Now I was going to do a scope demonstration, but this video is getting quite long. So I'll save it for a part two. There's some things you have to set up on the scope to properly display it as good as you can. So put that in part two. But this is it. Thanks for watching.